this show so much. I, I love the people that make it. It's so true. Um, it's so great to follow the energy of our friend Ginger with Aaron and Ben. Aaron and Ben Napier, of course, that was their hit uh, HGTV show, Hometown. They are the most delightful people. They are so filled with positive energy, and they're changing the world. One family and one home, not a house. They make them homes, one home at a time. And that's why it's still here six seasons in. Uh, hi, guys, and how are you? Wonderful to see We're you. We're good. Hey, how are you? Thank you for having us, Rachel. You know, I didn't have you guys to help me, but I'm back in our home. Our home burned down last August 9th. Yeah. We made it back for Christmas. It, it looks exactly the same, and I drew this house on a piece of paper. Uh, I don't know, like 17 years ago now? Um, it's and to have it back is amazing. And so I know the beauty you bring to people's lives. What can we expect to see next from you guys? And follow-up question, when you run out of town and you've done everything, you're going to keep on going, right? Yeah, we'll keep going. So Laurel is... A lot of people, I, they, they say, like, what are you going to do when you run out of houses? So Laurel, when it peaked, there were 65,000 people here, which for Mississippi is a pretty big city. And now there are neighborhoods that we have not even shown on hometown. We haven't been in them. Um, yeah, I think Laurel is a little bit bigger than it probably seems on TV. And we have, um, I think, a whole lot of opportunity ahead of us. I don't we think we're going to run out anytime soon. For 20 seasons to not run out of houses. I may be too wow. old and tired by then, but. Of course, by then, you know, <laughs> we would be coming back and fixing, you know, redoing some of the houses that we had done. That's actually a big dream for our showrunner, Andy. Oh, to go she is full obsessed. circle. I I yeah, have that idea. She's obsessed with re-renovating a house from, like, season one. So wow. maybe one day. So these guys are going to do something really fun for us today. You're going to show us two upgrades, right? They cost like maybe a hundred-ish bucks uh, yeah. or less. Is that is that so, is that the deal? Yeah, these are both um, projects that we've done on this season of Hometown, season six, uh, the one that's on TV right now. This is something that we did on an episode a couple weeks ago, and we took a room that had been a porch and then it was made into a glass room and we made it into a living room slash den and it was this family that had grown children and they used their house here as a vacation house they use it as a place for the holidays for you know whenever for people to come and and everyone can be there and so it's uh they all they have four kids they're all grown and so everyone comes and their big thing is they like to play games and put together puzzles as a family and so we took the windows out of the glass room and we made it into a table all right and so the way you do that you you have a window here and this one's really simple the way we did it uh you've got a plywood base here that just makes it a little more stable all right but then you know we kind of got to think like you don't want to be looking at plywood Okay, so we, we wrapped it with some of this, um, you know, faux barn wood to kind of give it a look. But then you could, you know, you find these windows at salvage stores, uh, or maybe you've done a home renovation project and you've got one left over. So when you're finished playing the game or it's dinner time and you want to come back to it, you can leave it under there. But the big thing is having this cavity underneath the table. So instead of having a flat top, you have this cavity. And what it does is it allows you to leave the game. Until later. Right. So you get your coffee table back or you get your, you get your coffee table or your dinner table or whatever it is. Okay. And you get that uh, game. It's still there. So you can come back to it. I mean, this is this one, uh, the one that we built for the family. We use some reclaimed white oak that we had. Uh, you can use this is some reclaimed red oak, it looks like. Uh, Amazing. Look at that. It's gorgeous. If you're in the middle of building the puzzle, you could put it on anything, a piece of board, anything. And Absolutely. 
slide it in there, even if it's, it's be in the process of being put together. I love that. I love that because everybody that comes to our home does that too. They play cards together and games together and chess and uh, our friend Lainey loves to build puzzles. What a clever idea. All right, guys, yeah, we've got so, for one more. Give us another one, Do All right, give us another Okay, so coming up in an episode, you're going to learn about Pastel Picado, which is something I have loved my whole life. The colorful, usually, they're colorful paper cuttings that you see in, like, Mexican decor, and we have a family who has a very special connection to Mexico. and We wanted to include Mexican-inspired art in their home. So I worked with, in the episode, a really incredible Papa Picado artist to create a custom piece for them and fabric. And we cut it together. It was kind of like making snowflakes, but bigger. And uh, this is like a simplified version of that. You can order this online or from a party supply store. I chose this white to put on a black background and you use double-sided tape to mount it to a piece of mat board. The one that we did on the episode, or the ones it's that It's a triptych did. of three colors. Yeah, and it, it, she used colors. Oh, yeah, those colors are beautiful. used in the design of the house. Beautiful. So here, you see, it becomes art. Yeah, it's really cool. So that, that's, like, this season, um, the builds in the wood shop, have, we've really stepped those up because we've got Ben's workshop is also... Uh, it, we're, you know, that's out now. And so we've been trying to step up our game in the wood shop. And then, uh, so this season we're doing our place out on the farm, um, out in family land. And it's, we are basically trying to go back to the way the house was built. We are trying to mimic everything that the original builders did with the house. Um, and so that's fine. That's, that's what we're always trying to get back to as far as like the design of the house yeah. is uh yeah and then we're thinking about how we will use it how we will live there with our girls so yeah season six a big 24 episodes a lot of and stuff. we've finished i think 75 houses in laurel so far maybe 80 if you count other personal projects yeah, if you count personal projects i think we're at 80. so it's wild it is fantastic i love i love hard workers I hear you. I relate to you. I am a huge fan. Uh, you guys have so much joy and blessings. I know it's great to have success in your careers, but your career is so much more than a career. You're building communities and lifelong relationships. You're, you're making the world a better place to live in for all of us. Oh, thank you for the work that you do. Thank you. It, it goes beyond TV. It really does. This oh, is the kind thank of work you, Rachel. that makes, makes the world a better place. So you guys got to keep an eye out because there's so much. I mean, 24, that's Mac Daddy. That's bigger than anything I can, anybody I know making runs plus, of anything. <laughs> uh, so 24 on Hometown plus Hometown Kickstart. Hometown Kickstart presented by People this spring on yeah. ABC TV. And Discovery Plus. Uh, of course, Ben's workshop. And of course, you can watch season six of Hometown Sundays, 8 p.m., HGTV, biggest season yet. Uh, up next, we got a master mechanic. Uh, thank you, guys. Oh, I'm pretty Love curious you. about that. Thank you, Rachel. Thanks, Good to Rachel. See you. Bye. Bye, sweeties. We'll see you soon.